Hello, good morning, welcome in everybody. My name is Laura from Tenacious Taurus Tarot and this is going to be the general daily collective message for Thursday, September the 5th. Keep in mind though, timing and energy is still fluid. This message could play out today, it could play out at any point in time. The message may or may not be for you. So just take what resonates, leave behind the rest. I always like to talk about my astrological insights and then I like to jump in with the cards so stick around hit that subscribe button don't forget to like the video comment on the video and share the video especially if the message is resonating it just helps the channel grow it's just a nice free easy way to show me some love and show me some support but let's talk about these energies today we've got the moon in libra conjunct venus and libra and i was shown the energy of the hanged man with the hierophant along with the strength card in the world and so the importance of self-care was so loud in the channeling this morning and so you need to prioritize self-care and your emotional well-being over everything else right now i felt a lot of heart chakra energy and i was shown a monarch butterfly and so the energy i feel at this time is just encouraging you to turn your attention inward it really is a big energy of taking the journey inward and nurturing yourself and so somebody here is on the precipice i feel of a massive breakthrough the monarch butterfly is a representation i feel of completing some type of transformation and mon monarch butterflies are migratory butterflies and so this might mean a relocation as well but the big message was create an environment in your home that is a reflection of this inner beauty and so be mindful though be mindful of temptations when it comes to indulging okay be mindful of that be mindful on maybe emotionally spending or emotionally eating because that really is not a form of self-care that is a toxic form of self-care so don't be tempted to go into false pretenses when it comes to self-care real self-care means prioritizing your overall physical mental well-being and this does maybe even mean prioritizing more meaningful experiences in your life over material indulgences and so if you are navigating this energy i feel with grace and self-awareness you can emerge like the monarch butterfly uh, with a renewed sense of balance so let's get into it with the tarot and let's see what else needs to come through with the cards today let's set the tone with the star codes astro oracle deck and let's see what else needs to come through keep in mind guys uh, the tarot is all about guidance it's all about pointing you in the right direction i'm not here to tell you what to do the cards are not here to tell you what to do so take the reading uh with a grain of salt keep in mind that it is a collective reading so it's not sign specific if you would like to book a more personalized message please feel free to check out the description box below or the comment section below and there you will find a link to my webpage to book in with me for a personal reading but remember the tarot is all about taking the guidance and creating the life that you want look at that healing we get the Chiron energy out. And so somebody here I feel is at a major crossroads. You're at the divine why. You got a big decision to make here. And this is about healing. So right now we have the Chiron wounded healer energy in the sign of Aries. And it's retrograde and it's going to stay retrograde until the day before Christmas. And so this is a deep internal process. And so with the Chiron and Aries, this is all about a self-identity wound. Maybe even a self-identity crisis. And we get the series energy. And so this is all about taking action towards nurturing yourself. And so what is it that you need to bring to an end? I also feel this energy of like the Grim Reaper. And so 404 on the timer. And I feel it's time to make a decision. And it's time to take those action steps towards that choice that you have made. And so two and three of wands type of energy coming through. So let's get a few more of these cards out. Let's see what else needs to come through with the tarot today. What other messages does the collection, uh, the collective need to know today? The collection. <laughs> let's see what we got here. Let's get a few of these cards out and let's see. Oh, we had one stay on the table, North Node. And so we are kind of shifting out of these past life patterns. We do have the south node in Libra and uh, the north node is in Aries. And so this is all uh, gearing towards 
future orientation. What is it that you need to do to step into the future? Because I feel an eight of wands energy here. There's a need to kind of move forward. There might be a lot going on right now in the energy. There might be an event that's going to move you forward with great speed. And this is likely causing some type of tension. And so uh, this is about speaking up. Maybe you need to do a little bit of research. There might be a clashing of beliefs here as you kind of step into the future. And then we get the south node. And so that was very prominent teetering between the past and the future. And so we can't hold on to the past versions of ourselves. And so there's something about uh, stepping into some type of leadership position. They're showing me the seven of wands. You might need to defend yourself. You might have a lot of people coming at you, accusing you of things, causing a lot of tension. And bottom of the deck, we get Taurus. So you could be a Taurus. You could be dealing with a Taurus. But this is all about cultivating your own path. So this is about cultivating self-worth. What is it that you value? What is it that you are wanting to create in this world? Grab the bull by the horns. There's a crossroad energy here for sure. And I think of Taurus energy and I think of the Empress. And so somebody here has what it takes to step into the spotlight, I feel. But there's like one last look back at the past. So let's read into the North Node card. I'm pretty sure I read the South Node card the other day, but I would like to read into the North Node because this is really a big message of stepping into the future, no longer allowing the lingering past energy to hold you back. And so uh, somebody is in uh, an ascension portal is really what it feels like. And so the North Node really is uh, where the soul desires to be. And so uh, this is where fate, I feel, maybe is beckoning you to step into uncharted territory, right? The south node is the comfort zone. The south node is what we mastered in a past life. And the north node is all new to us. It's uncharted territory. And it can be a little bit scary because you kind of don't have a map. You kind of got to figure it out. And so the north node is calling you uh, to take charge of a situation. And it might be exciting. It might be scary. Uh, but it might also be a little bit bland when you start off, right? It could be a Taurus North Node. It doesn't have to be. But I do feel there's like a giant shadow uh, being cast upon you in order for you to face some type of difficulty to step into the North Node. Now I'm hearing Dragon's Head and Tail. This could be connected to the Taurus and Scorpio Dragon's Head and Tail, which would naturally be the second and the eighth house. Um, in astrology and so somebody is being called to take a step forward it's time to stay to take a step forward so think about where you'd like to be think about what you're doing right now and do you still want to be doing the same thing in 10 years from now because north node activations take place in about a 10 year cycle usually a 10 to 20 year cycle and so uh, there's somebody here being be being beckoned to walk through the passageway of releasing the past and stepping into the future. And so something is beckoning you. It feels like something is beckoning you. And so the challenge might be a little bit scary when it comes to leaving the familiarities behind when it comes to the past or the south node. And uh, when we resist the path of evolution and we get pulled away from the north node, it can be very daunting. And so there is a new beginning here. That's the gift. That's the gift when you face the tension, when you face all of the opposition, when you speak your truth, the path will likely start out with a little bit of uncertainty, but the gift of it is, is you're going to progress. You're going to progress forward. And so big message, I feel uh, connected to the Taurus collective. So pay attention to where you have Taurus in your birth chart, but let's go a little bit further here and let's dig in with the tarot. And I'm using the tarot of dreams deck today. So look at the gateway portal is opening. Four of Wands reversed. Oh, wait. Four of Wands upright. Four of Cups in reversed. Um, this is about getting yourself unstuck. And so sometimes the comfort zone can get us in a place of stagnancy, right? Somebody here I feel is bored, discontent. It could be a Cancer. It could be a Moon in Cancer. It doesn't have to be, but we get Cancer and we get Aries energy. And so actually Cancer and Aries energy would be in a square and would create tension uh, with one another. But there's an opportunity here to walk through a new doorway, to maybe walk through a new doorway of more stability, more abundance. Um, but I do feel there's a need to look something dead in the eye. 
you're going to have to get yourself unstuck when it comes to maybe being a little bit complacent because the comfort zone really isn't that comfortable when there's an opportunity to take action to create more balance and harmony in your life. And so let's get into it, guys. Let's get nine of these cards out and let's see what else needs to come through for a message today. I do feel a renewed sense of overall well-being, but you're going to have to face a challenge when it comes to the past. So let's get at it. We get the judgment card in reversed. Pluto energy. We get the six of swords, uh, Aquarian energy. And so we just had Pluto leave Aquarius and dip back into Capricorn. And so there's like a final judgment, a final cleanup is what it feels like. We get the Eight of Cups in reversed, and that's kind of right below the South Node. So don't cling on to something that you need to walk away from. The Eight of Cups upright is saying, hey, I've learned the lesson of spiritual mastery. I've learned the lesson of spiritual maturity, spiritual discipline, and I'm ready to walk the walk. I'm ready to walk the path. I'm ready to talk the talk. And I'm ready to go after wish fulfillment. And so there's something that needs to be moved on from that I feel is being held on to here. And there's resistance to leaving the past behind. There's resistance to leaving a past cycle behind. And so what is it that you need to move on from? Where is it that you are self-sabotaging or denying some, some sort of truth connected to a process of soul retrieval here? So there's something about stepping into the future but there's so much resistance to leaving something behind. We got healing. We get more Aquarian energy here. We get the Two of Cups in reversed. <clears throat> right below the Six of Swords. And we get the strength. And so it takes greater strength to admit that you need to walk away from something than to stay stuck. And so the central energy is the Two of Cups in reversed. And so this is a huge indication of a separation. There's two people here not on the same page and maybe claim to control because pride and ego doesn't want to let you let go. And so clinging to something that you know isn't good for you is really uh, keeping a ball and chain around your neck here. And then we get the sun. So more Leo energy. Uh, so there's something being highlighted. There's some type of reorientation. If you notice on this sun card, it's like a compass. And so somebody is being activated is what it feels like. And this is feeling very uh, frustrating because it could lead to a major loss. Definitely with the ace of coins in reverse. And then we get the six of cups in reverse. So two very clear, prominent cards of saying there's a separation here. There's two people here not on the same page. There's two people here struggling to let go of a past pattern, uh, maybe connected to some type of childhood wound. And usually relationships are going to be a reflection of a repeated pattern or it's going to be a reflection of something brand new. And the new can be scary. I feel somebody here might have self-sabotaged something and they're holding on to some type of broken connection and holding on for the money because they don't want to start over. But the, the sun is coming in to shine a light saying, hey, you might have to go through a major loss because this is not where you're meant to be. There is a separation. And so do not hold on to the past memories. Do not cling to something that you're needing to walk away from. Look at that. We get the nine of coins in reversed on the bottom of the deck. We get the empress in reversed on the bottom of the deck. And then we get the queen of coins. And so there's a feminine here that needs to uh, master self-care self-nurturance. There's a need to get grounded. There's a need to look at a situation in its entirety. I think there's codependencies here. There's fear of maybe walking the path alone. There's somebody here that really doesn't know her worth, really doesn't know her value and needs to renew this sense of self-worth. So Taurus, Libra, Virgo energy, Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus energy. And so there is a very prominent feminine energy coming through that I feel is so resistant to walking the path. There's a need to move on from some type of separation. Stop holding on to the memories here because there's a lack of healing. There's a lack of balance. There's something about some type of an addiction here. And maybe you're just addicted to this person. But it's time to let go. It's time to withdraw your energy. And ain't that the truth? So there's some type of situation here that I feel is pretty toxic, some type of trauma bond, and there's a clinging, clinging, clinging because there's so much fear 
about stepping into the new path. There's so much fear about stepping into the future. And so there is a need to trust your intuition on this one. This is the energy of, hey, Pandora's box has been opened. The box of darkness has been opened. And you can't unsee this truth. And so get ready to make some type of judgment call because somebody here is without a doubt at the crossroads. Do you want to keep repeating the lessons of the past? Do you want to keep going back and repeating the same lesson with a different person? But it's just going to be the same lesson, the same pattern or do you want to walk through the doorway of a new experience because there's some type of injustice here there's some type of imbalance here and I do feel the moon conjunct Venus and Libra is saying hey it's time to take action towards the future so let's clarify the two of cups in reverse I don't really think it needs to be clarified but there's definitely a separation here and there is a need to heal and so something about leo and aquarius the leo and aquarius axis maybe you're a north node leo north node aquarius but let's clarify this two of cups page of swords in reversed page of wands in reversed what do we got and we get the three of coins and so it's over there's really a lack of healthy communication here. There's a lack of passion. There's a lack of drive. It's like, hey, I really don't want to finish this anymore. And uh, this is like, hey, this isn't what I love. I'm not really working well with this person. Somebody here is slaving away all by themselves in a situation that I feel is kind of dead in the water here. And I do feel there's going to be an unexpected departure. I just feel there's a major realignment here. And so do you want to keep yourself stuck in an old cycle of regret? guilt and shame and being hung up on the past we all got hang-ups right we all got them but i do feel somebody here is really in some type of self-sabotaging mode focusing on the past focusing on what they don't have it could be a scorpio south node it doesn't have to be more aquarian energy it could be an aquarius uh, south node something about that south node is really really loud and so with pluto dipping back into capricorn this is a realignment this is a cleanup and there's a need to get really honest about some type of ending here so the six of cups in reversed there's a pattern here that needs to be recognized a past life pattern here that needs to be recognized so what do we got we get the nine of wands there is a wounded healer coming through and so uh through this very painful ending because the empress in reverse is saying hey there's a lack of fertility there's a lack of growth there's codependency here and there's there's a need to kind of get grounded on your feet again and maybe you can use this very challenging uh, relationship ending to find your drive and your spark to create something new. We get the Wounded Healer, the Nine of Wands. We get the Devil card, Capricorn Energy. We get the Queen of Cups. And so there is a feminine here that I feel um, has self-sacrificed. Could be a Pisces. Doesn't have to be. Could be a Capricorn. Could be a Sagittarius. But there is some type of very toxic codependent cycle here that needs to be addressed and so when you feel like you are like you have to save somebody that you have to heal somebody that's a codependency you, when you feel obligated to fix somebody that's a codependency here and so it doesn't matter if it's a life partner if it's a friend if it's a family member you can't self-sacrifice by filling other people's cups to avoid doing the inner work that you need to do to heal your own heart and so there's a major heart chakra activation a heart chakra opening with the ace of cups in reverse the two of swords and the two of wands and so Look at this situation with your eyes wide open. I think it's time to take the rose-colored glasses off. It's time to unblock the heart, and it's time to make a decision. You get to choose. Do you want to repeat, or do you want to step into the new, as scary as that is? But there is a need to get honest about a situation that is not fair, that is not balanced, and to take action towards something new here. So let's get a closing message with the senses of the soul deck. And let's see what else needs to come through when it comes to this collective message. It's safe to heal. So there is something about some fear. Maybe you're worried about how am I going to survive financially on my own. Maybe you're just worried about having to have no emotional support. But it's safe for you to heal. It's okay to see things differently. It's okay to move on. So let's get one of these cards out. And let's see what the closing message is today. What is the closing message today? All right, what do we got? Bottom of the deck, shed limiting beliefs and see with fresh eyes. So we all, we all can tap into universal love. 
I do feel it's time to get out of this Five of Cups energy. And the closing message is, I am loving wisdom. And so there is something about the heart very strongly coming through. It's a 28 card. So somebody is at the crossroads here. There is a major decision that needs to be made here. And with the Shaga on the bottom of the deck, it's like there's an activation coming in where you're recognizing a limiting belief connected to a pattern. And it's really time to open up your heart to this loving wisdom. And so this is about following your heart. This is about unconditional love, empathy, kindness, and stepping into a new consciousness. And so there, the energy really is saying that you are starting to operate at a higher vibrational field. And so the energy is asking you to conquer this lower vibrational negative emotion connected to a past life pattern. Trust in the process of this transformation. Follow the needs of your heart. If your needs are not being met, then choose to fill your own cup first. And so there's a lot of divine energies being made manifest around the heart. And this is, really is about service, service to others. And so how can you anchor in your actions with loving wisdom and keep your heart open when it comes to maybe communicating more effectively? Because forgiveness really is reminding you that unconditional love is what connects you to the bigger picture, maybe the bigger why, Unconditional love does not mean unconditional acceptance of crappy behavior. And so there's a very tumultuous, challenging relationship dynamic here that needs to go through some type of separation. Stop giving your heart away to people that do not value you. And so find your purpose and connect with that purpose and fill your own cup first. And that's what I got for a message today, guys. So I really hope this helped. I hope this resonated. If you would like to book a personal or a soulmate reading with me, Check out that description box below, guys. Also, if you want to become a channel member, head on over to the membership side of the channel. It's all revamped. Costs you less than a cup of coffee a month to be a member where I will go live every Thursday at noon, Eastern Standard Time, and we will do an all Zodiac card pull for every Zodiac every Thursday. So head on over there. Join us on the other side. And have a great day, everybody. I do look forward to seeing you all again next time. Thank you.